YTPC. Welcome back to the Shire Shed. I'm Sonny. You're here for another pipe review. Or to just hear me blather on about something. Either way, thanks for being here. And today, we're going to be reviewing a blend that has been recommended to me several times. Um, and it will be part of the bulk blends for the Cheapskate series here on my channel. If you have any questions or you want to see any more of the blends that I have included in that series, just go to the playlist tab here in the channel. You can find everything that I've put together, bulk blends, Perique heavy hitters, reviews, first impressions, everything you could ever want on this channel is there and well organized just for you. Ain't that sweet? Anyway, today we're doing a review of a blend that sounded really good to me and uh, smells very good to me and as you can tell in the thumbnail hopefully it is going to be eric stockaby's fourth generation evening flake this this blend is a vapor of virginia perique uh smelling the tin note it reminds me a lot of orlet golden sliced so that bodes very well and I am very, very excited to dive in. So I'm going to go ahead and light this bowl up because I haven't had a bowl yet today. So this is legitimately also a first impression. So got my uh, little Karibi, got my Mark Twain that I sanded down and refinished and put a amber stem on it love that so let's go all right all right so far really good you guys have probably noticed I use two lighters uh, to light my pipes in here for whatever reason, I like starting it with like a old boy style or a Bic even, my Karibi, um, and then I switch over to the to the Zippo for the rest. Couldn't tell you why I do that, but I do it. Wow, okay. So far, it is uh, reminding me a lot of... It's like a really solid mix between Orlick Golden Sliced and Peter Stockaby Luxury Navy Flake. Very good. So far, very good. Let's, uh, let's dive into... the review and description on tobacco reviews and all that fun stuff. Uh, Eric Stockaby, fourth generation evening flake. A Virginia Perique blend, Eric Stockaby, fourth generation's evening flake is a flake cut pipe tobacco comprising golden Virginias with a touch of Perique that's hot pressed for a week before being sliced into flakes. Uh, the brand is Eric Stockaby. It's blended by Eric Stockaby, manufactured by McBaron. Blend type is a Virginia Perique. The contents are Virginia and Perique. The cut is a flake. It is available in bulk. Country of origin is Denmark, and it is currently available. Uh, really, the primary website that I go through uh, for ordering the vast majority of my tobacco and pipes and stuff unless it's corn cobs, is smokingpipes.com. So uh, I would imagine that it's available on Cup of Joe's. Uh, I don't think Pipes and Cigars has it. I don't really frequent them very often for reasons of my own. Uh, but over on 
smokingpipes.com it does seem to be pretty readily available uh, you can get one ounce for four dollars and 24 cents all the way up to 24 ounces full two pounds for 77 dollars just to compare that a little bit if you want a pound of just one pound of hh pure virginia old kentucky old dark fired you're going to pay that amount for one pound of that whereas with this you can get two pounds for the same price uh, i got a pound because i knew there was a really really good chance that i was going to like this and so far my instincts were right uh, so i got one pound uh, that was $53.83 for a pound of that. And again, so far, so really good. Uh, it seems like everybody that tries this stuff really, really enjoys it. Uh, so let's go back to tobacco reviews. Uh, and look at the profile here. Uh, so according to tobacco reviews, it says the strength is mild to medium. There's... No flavoring detected. The room note is pleasant. And the taste is mild to medium. I would literally agree wholeheartedly with all of those stats. And the reviews, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of reviews. It's got a total of 15 reviews. But it doesn't seem like anybody dislikes this one. It seems like this one's kind of one that people are overall very impressed with. A lot of three and four star reviews so i mean you can't really go wrong with that i did see someone say that if you run out of luxury navy flake that this one is a really good replacement if you if you needed more so now let's get into my thoughts on it as I break my zippo. Hold on. All right. So. My thoughts are it's very good, and it does remind me a lot of a luxury Navy Flake. Like a lot. A minute ago I said it was, it reminded me of a mix between luxury Navy Flake and Or Orlet Golden Sliced. I would say it's like 70 to 80 percent luxury Navy Flake and 30 to 20 percent. Orlick. Uh, there is Perique in this. I can tell that it is there, but it's not, it's not super pronounced. That said, that's not, I don't think that's a bad thing in this case. It's, it works very well. And you guys know me. I'm a, I'm a whore for Perique, man, but this is, this is good. I was kind of looking for something that maybe got me a little closer to Deluxe Navy Rolls. And this is almost there. My thing was, is I was trying to find a bulk blend that the flavor was close to Deluxe Navy Rolls without being Deluxe Navy Rolls. And obviously not paying the same price. So, I mean, this is this is close. Uh, 
I feel like there's a bit more Perique, maybe, in uh, Deluxe Navy Roll. I kind of half expected this to have some bite to it, but so far, I'm, I'm pushing it pretty hard, and it's not. Flavor's good. Uh, definitely getting those bright Virginia flavors. Grass, hay. Definitely some earthy flavors. Like good dirt. It's a very good blend. I don't know why I sound so surprised. Stockaby tobaccos are just out of this world. That's a very good mix. Very good mix of like all the best from Orlick, Golden Sliced, and all the best from Luxury Navy Flake without any of the bad. Not that there's much bad with either of those to begin with. If any. This is absolutely fantastic and for the money come on you can't go wrong with this Perique seems to be coming through a little bit more the further I get down the bowl, but again, it's not overpowering. It's not not anything crazy. I mean, obviously, I would want there to be more Perique in this because I'm I'm insane, but. Overall, it's very, very good. It packs very well. It rubs out. Probably the best of any flake I've ever come across. This was... A very good recommendation. I cannot remember who recommended it to me, but thank you if you're watching this. That is quite good. What's the verdict? Well, go out and get you some. Go on to smokingpipes.com or wherever you want to find this, wherever your preferred online retailer is. And, uh, I mean, at least order a an ounce or two. I mean, worst case scenario, you're going to be out anywhere from four to eight dollars. Well, in the states where it's we're still free to order things like that and not pay through the nose, and that's not every state either. Looking at you, Washington State. I mean, without getting too political, the government sucks. 
I feel like we can all agree on that. But if you live in those states where others have voted in people that screw up your lives, if you can, try to get out. Try. I know it's not feasible for all of us, but we should be able to order things that we put in our own bodies without government interference. Just my opinion. Now that I'm off that soapbox. I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. My team is on a bye today, so no, uh, no Bengals football for me. But I will be watching other teams and cheering on the Browns for, on behalf of my boss and one of my best friends, because they're Browns fans. Hopefully Deshaun Watson doesn't hurt himself again. Hurt himself. Sorry. I'm getting sassy this morning. Anyway, I hope the rest of your weekend goes very, very well. And I hope that you get out and at least have a good pipe today. So weather's nice. Enjoy it as much as you can because the next couple months it's going to start getting real shitty. So, y'all take it easy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but if you do, don't get caught. I'll see you later.